Johannesburg, South Africa. Wow. Now, how did you get into baseball in Johannesburg? Uh, it was kind of just a mistake. I just came across it. They were playing um, some baseball and soccer fields, and I just came across it and looked interesting, so I started playing. And what did your parents think about that? Because I'm sure that they were probably, uh, wow, you want to play baseball? What's that? They, they probably thought it was cricket, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but at the time I was playing every sport that I could. So any ball sport I was playing. So they, they thought it was fine just playing another ball sport, getting, you know, the co coordination down and stuff like that. So at the time it was just another sport to play for fun. So then, who, who did you look up to? Who did you, I'm, I'm sure you probably started doing some research on baseball players. I mean, how, how did you say, well, this is the guy that I, I want to check out? Honestly, I didn't. We, I, we didn't have base one TV at the time in South Africa. Um, I didn't even know what teams existed in, in America at the mm. time. Um, so only once I first came to America for the first time did I know which teams actually existed. And then what did you think? What did you, I'm sure that that must have been a, a big impression on you, you know, the fans and the... Yeah, the first time I came to uh, a Major League Baseball game was actually the old Yankee Stadium. Wow. Um, we, we stopped from South Africa, we stopped in New York, it was our first stop, so we went checked out in New York and went to a baseball game and it was actually, the Yankee game was my first game. And what did you think? Because it, like the atmosphere in Yankee Stadium was totally, yeah. it's, it's like out of this world. Yeah, it was definitely like a whole different world experience, you know, seeing the baseball field, the green grass, the huge stadiums, it was, it was, I didn't even think something like that existed. So, so then basically, how did you get it? You know, how did you get drafted? How did you get signed and stuff like that? Because I'm, I'm sure that a lot, not a lot of scouts go to South Africa. Yeah, no, so part of the reason why I came to America that first time was to come to a couple of baseball camps just to see where I stood against uh, American kids. And through all that, we found uh, some way where I could go to high school in America to uh -huh. try and play more and grow. And, and how did you like the, how did you do against the, the homegrown talent? At the time, I was pretty average. I wasn't anything special, you know. I, I didn't play a lot, so I, my skills were very raw and not great at the time. But once I came to high school and started playing a lot more baseball with the talent, then it started growing a lot. And the reason why I ask you that is because I'm sure that there were times you probably called back home and said, you know what, I don't think this is, you know, made out to be. Because play baseball is, you know, one of them failure games. Yeah, I mean, at the time it was just kind of, you know, this would be a cool experience to do, you know, come to America, go to high school, try and play baseball, see the way it goes, but at the end of the day, it was just going to be a cool experience, and then it kind of, you know, grew. And then when, when you got signed, how was that? That must have been a big thrill for you and your, and your parents. Yeah, that was the first time we kind of realized that this was actually a legit goal that we had, and it could actually be possible that this becoming a Major League Baseball player from South Africa could be possible. Now going through the minor leagues, yeah. that must have been another experience because that's when it's not fun, now it's work. So how did you, how did that work out for you? It was still, for me it was different because there was no baseball in South Africa, like any kind of baseball, traveling in the buses, anything like that was such a fun and cool experience just because there was nothing like that in South Africa. So even though it was a grind to some people, to me it was fun and a new experience. And meeting different ball players from different nationality, that must have been different cultures. That must have been another experience that it's, it's out of this world. Yeah, definitely the Latin culture. We don't have uh, many Latin people in South Africa, so getting a hold of that side of the culture and everything was definitely a new experience, and uh, it, was, it was really cool getting to know those So guys. I'm sure that you learned Spanish. I'm <laughs> sure that you learned a few Spanish and dance Spanish music and all that stuff. I've tried learning some Spanish, but I, I can't seem to hold on to anything. Now, getting into the major leagues, I mean, that's every kid's dream in America, and especially from John, that's, 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 I think, hey, that's like going to the moon, man, yeah. probably the chance. Yeah, one in a billion, literally one in a billion, yeah. So, so I'm going back home, what do they think of Tyler Scott? <laughs> Honestly, baseball, it's still not covered much. They, most people don't really know about me still. They still don't know that there's baseball going on, so when I go back home and people ask what I do, they still, like, can't believe that there's... We have baseball. So you could probably walk down the street and uh, no one knows who I am. Who, no. Wow, that yeah. is that is something. And now playing for the Houston Astros, that's got to be another. Because that's hey, talk to me about that a little bit. Playing yeah, I mean the Astros has been one of the most dominant teams in, in the league for a long time. So being able to be on that team and be part of that that history and legacy has been extremely great. Now, when you travel around with, with all the f different fans, 
that's another little experience. I mean, every time, every day for yeah. you is probably something you could write a book on every every experience that you have in different cities, different towns, and, and the way baseball is, is t how serious baseball is taken. Yeah, definitely. You know, you hear stories, especially stories about Yankee Stadium and the fans here and stuff, and then to finally experience it is a whole new thing. But, yeah, every time you go somewhere new, it's a whole new experience that no one from your country or continent has experienced. So it's new stories. And what about the history of baseball? Do you Have you read? Do you read, read the, the old-time players that they come up to you and you say this is how it was back in the day? Yeah, slowly as the, my career has gone on, you know, looking back into the history of the game, it's been one thing. and. You see a lot of the guys hanging around from uh, back then and you talk to them about the game and how it used to be and watch the videos and so yeah, you get a hold of it. You, you're like the Jackie Robinson of, of South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that. That's that's a little stretch. But you know, you're the first one, one of the yeah. first ones to come out so obviously, you know, after you, there's, 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 there's some, you know, you open up the floodgates so yeah. you get some more. I'm hoping, you know, the, the goal is in the future to start bringing baseball back to South Africa and maybe growing it starting some sort of academies because there's definitely some talent down there. It's just with the equipment and the money, it's just it's tough. It is. Tyler, listen, man, I wish you the best. Oh, and you. I wish that you get a ring so you can experience uh -huh. what the World Series is like yeah, and, and you get great. a ring. And really, it, it's an honor to speak to you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Suscríbanse al canal de las 5 esquinas.